This video was created in response to having my iTunes Store account hacked and abused. Apple's response so far is that there is no problem, there is no hacking, it's the user's fault, and it is only a one-time refund. There are people getting hacked two and three times, half the time not being refunded for the second and third hacks. That being the case, I decided to remove all my payment options from anything Apple has to do with transactions online. That includes the Apple iTunes Store and the Apple Store. The differences being the Apple iTunes Store is for music and for apps for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and other iOS devices. And the Apple Store online is for buying software and hardware. Open your favorite trusted web browser and type Apple in the URL address field box. You get the chance to bounce between stores of different countries at the login window bottom right or at the bottom of the store page prior to logging in. The bullseye indicator will show you where to look. Each country has slightly different looks to their pages, uh, specifically to the kinds of transaction legalities, so I will only be showing you what Canadians have to deal with. There are two links shown for Canada's online store, more for the US store, and I have no idea for your other countries. Check every country, user ID, email address, and password combination you can remember owning via the apple.com page. Regardless, the two that you want to alter are these shown. You want to go into each and doubly make sure your credit card information is not there. If it is, delete it and save the changes by clicking continue. If you forget to enter your password twice, as I do in this video, clicking continue will not exit but refresh you to the top of the page with your error being indicated in the red type. Select the number if it exists as this fake number that is shown and hit delete. Click continue again. Once you do, you are sent back to the account options. Go to the next link that has your credit card information the principle behind one click is that it gives your credit card information just once when you establish your account. For more accurate information about one click, check the learn more link right by the buttons uh, on the screen. It's a neat idea using one click if you trust Apple, but after this iTunes issue, uh, I don't. So I'll make sure that one click is turned off. Now whether the number is shown or not, I make sure that the field is empty before continuing. And since I have never used this feature, you'll see that it gives me the chance to do so by turning it on. I don't want to, and I suggest you don't either. The settings are kept when you quit your browser or refresh the page, so rest assured you are now safe. Good luck. iPhone users have been warned of a new type of phishing scam that tricks you into giving away your Apple ID. Malicious iOS apps can easily create fake login pop-ups that look exactly like the ones used by Apple, an expert cautioned. The login boxes usually appear when you try to install or update an app and ask you to enter your Apple ID password before you can continue. If you input your password into one of the fake boxes, the attacker could steal it and use it to access your credit card information. How to protect yourself You can protect yourself from the fake pop-up scam by never inputting passwords into an Apple pop-up. Instead, you should go into your iPhone settings menu and enter it there to confirm it's a real request from Apple. You can also click the home button whenever a pop-up is shown. This will close the app if it is a phishing scam, but the pop-up will remain if it is a legitimate Apple ID request. You should also always have two-factor authentication activated on your Apple account for an extra layer of security. 
mobile app developer Felix Kraus, based in Vienna, Austria, published a proof of concept on his blog on Tuesday that showed how easy it is to copy Apple's sign into iTunes Store prompt to take a user's password. Mr. Kraus said malicious developers can turn on alerts inside their apps that look almost identical to Apple's pop-ups using a simple bit of code. Users are trained to just enter their Apple ID password whenever iOS prompts you to do so, Mr. Kraus wrote in his post. However, those pop-ups are not only shown on the lock screen and the home screen, but also inside random apps, e.g. when they want to access Ziklid, Game Center or in-app purchases. This could easily be abused by any app. Hackers who access your Apple ID password could make fraudulent purchases and potentially steal your payment information. The login boxes usually appear when you try to install or update an app and ask you to enter your Apple ID password. If you input your password into a fake box, the attacker could steal it and use it to access your credit card information. Pictured is a scam Apple ID notification if you use your Apple ID password elsewhere, like your online banking service, cyber criminals could use it to crack your accounts. You can protect yourself from the fake pop-up scam by never inputting passwords into an Apple pop-up. Instead, Mr. Kraus said, you should go into your iPhone settings menu and enter it there to confirm it's a real request from Apple. You can also click the home button whenever a pop-up is shown. Mr. Kraus said this will close the app if it is a phishing scam, but the pop-up will remain if it is a legitimate Apple ID request. You should also always have two-factor authentication activated on your Apple account for an extra layer of security.